welcome to part two of the uh, baby elephant pan blanket tutorial. In part one we covered a little bit the anatomy of the pattern as a whole. Uh, we looked in a bit more detail page three, page four and setting up to work we looked at casting on which is 124 stitches in alternating colours in the cast on of your choice. Um, now that we've got there, we're ready to proceed to the next instruction. This is page three again. Um, we're on the bold instruction. Um, at this point, take a note of the colour of the first stitch facing you. This colour will be your colour A throughout the rest of the pattern. So for me, I've gone back to my knitting. And this is my leading stitch here for this first row is yellow. So throughout the pattern, no matter which direction we're working or which side we're working. I know that from here on out, my leading stitch is yellow. So my A color is yellow, my B color is blue. And because I don't have a brilliant memory, I happen to have a, a brain injury, I've gone ahead and left myself a note. And I would, I am a huge advocate for scrolling all over your patterns. I know some people don't like to, um, maybe you might wanna have a notebook to hand or things like that, but, um, I'm, I'm a real fan of noting things on your pattern because then you just don't have to remember. So we are, we have our cast on, we know which is the A and the B, and we're going to go into row one. Okay, so the instruction for row one is to knit all the colour A stitches and purl all the colour B stitches. And again, any of the shorthand, the K's and P's and whatever else, you'll find those in the key on page two of the pattern. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to knit all the case, the A colour stitches and purl all the B colour stitches. So here we're going to go back to the work and we're going in just like regular knitting, regular stockinette, however you prefer to work. Some people have a particular way that they like to, to hold the yarn or work the stitch. I'm going to go ahead and work that first stitch as a standard knit. Now I'm going to purl this second stitch, but because this is double knitting, not stockinette, I want the, the rough sides of the work to fall into the middle. So I'm going to, instead of just bringing this blue forward, I'm going to catch both yarns from the back and bring them forward. And I'm going to work this blue net again being a cast on row sometimes the leading leg is on the back and that really isn't a problem if you wanted to you can go round and put those all the right way around if that annoys you but that is entirely a personal choice thing and then because I've finished purling I'm taking both of these yarns again back to the front the back so that is my first two I've got one of my front stitches the A is here and it's knitted and I have my first backside stitch which has been purled and you'll see in the gap between the two those have closed up really well and the rough edges have fallen to the middle which is what we want when we're double knitting so just to show you again I see this one again that leading leg is there if that bothers you and you really want to work through the first one just rearrange it so that you're ready to work it in the way that you want to. We're going to go ahead and knit that just as a regular knit stitch. And both those are in the back again. We're going to bring them to the front. And we're going to purl the B colour, which for me that's the blue. To the end of the stitch and then drop those back. So, and as you're going along, you can see all the yellow is forming the front and all blue is forming to the back. And just by carrying the working yarns forward, what we've done is we've caught them in the middle between each, each time we're working. And that's going to give us that beautiful, thick, completely closed fabric at the end of the project. So one more time, just knitting the A colour stitch. And bringing both yarns forward. 
and purling with the B. Okay, so and we're just going to keep doing that all along the row. So I will leave you for a moment and come back with part three and we'll pick up at the end of this row.